Welcome to the Brompton Block Installation Guide. You will need a 4mm and 5mm Allen key, as well as some scissors. First, check that you have all the contents of your Brompton Block kit, including any additional extension cables. Before installing the Brompton Block, make sure to remove your existing luggage block or grub screws from your bike. Assemble the bolt stack by placing the locking washer on first, followed by the large washer. Position the Brompton block over the mounting holes with the logo facing up. Use a bolt stack to secure the block onto the Brompton and tighten. If you insert the top bolt first, push the block up as you tighten to align the holes. Take the other bolt stack and screw it in to fully secure your Brompton block. Remove the twist strap and rubber spaces from your handlebar bracket. Clamp the bracket onto the Brompton block and tighten the bolts on each side using the 5mm Allen key. To shorten the motor cable, loop it back the same length as the Brompton block and cable tie it in place. Then, thread the motor cable through the block as shown. Alternatively, you may find this step easier with the bracket removed from the block. Now, connect the motor cable to the motor. Use an extension cable to connect the pedal sensor to the bracket, taking care to route the cable as shown. For throttles and brake sensors, Use extension cables to connect to the bracket, once again ensuring the cables are routed as shown. Follow the existing cable routes to make sure that your Brompton steering and folding remain unaffected. Once this is done, secure the cables in place with cable ties. Finally, anchor the bracket cables underneath the Brompton block by threading a cable tie through the hole as shown. Check that you can easily fold and unfold your bike and check that your steering is smooth. For more support, visit switchbike.com instructions.